Attention foodies! What if I told you there's a five-star lunch with a $10 price tag awaiting your palate? To what lengths would you go to find it? Did I mention all you can eat? Kennesaw State University's The Commons takes year-round collegiate dining to an unprecedented level. This sustainable commissary pioneers a farm-table farm approach to food service, starting with, well, farm. It takes three to feed this machine. On one farm, we bring in honey. Other two farms, just your normal. Corn, tomatoes, squash, zucchini. We'll be planting broccoli, cauliflower, lettuces. We have a mushroom yard uh, back in the go. woods that we're growing shiitake mushroom. We just try to grow everything. You can't have nutritive veggies without seasoned veggie patrol, of course. Meet Tater, farm staff and renowned vermin catcher. The role of the dogs are to keep the fields clear of rodents and snakes, um, birds and crows and uh, just morale, really. But canines aren't the only creatures earning their keep. Through a process called vermicomposting, these slimy laborers consume food refuse and produce castings that help remineralize the soil. We've lost about 30% of our nutrients for our vegetables. So what our grandfathers ate had more nutrient content in it than, it, than we do now. So by adding some of the base elements back to the soil, we hope to bring that nutrient level back up in our vegetable. This homegrown produce travels less than five miles to my favorite location in the farm table farm loop, the oh, table. The commons on the bob. The commons on the bob. A meal at Kennesaw State University's The Commons is the most uncommon experience you'll ever have dining on a college campus. You can go in freely and gladly, but you may never come out. Entrapment of the tastiest variety. Nine food stations featuring KSU and locally grown ingredients vie for your attention. Daily features and their origins are displayed on the Locavore board. We smoke our own meats, we grind our own corned beef, we make 90% of everything from scratch. Just walk around with a plate and see one of the coolest common features unfold. Hydroponic crops and herbs growing right no, before your eyes. Even picky eaters have options. This is normally where the hydroponic lettuce goes, and I don't eat lettuce. So I'm not sad to see that there's basil growing here. This is the second stage of our hydroponics. This is the propagation tent, where about three weeks ago these started out from seeds. Just a cleaner way of growing it. There's uh, absolutely no chance of pests, disease. Uh, so that's why tater doesn't work here in the dining room. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> These sustainable practices take root in everyone because the proof is in the pudding. Our busiest station four years ago was the hamburger hot dog station and cheese steaks. And now it's our salad bar and our proteins. So now they ask for things like goat, octopus. Um, so it's completely changed the way our students are eating. What year are you at KSU, Chris? I'm a fifth year senior, taking well, the long route. The long route? <laughs> uh, is it because of the dining hall? Let's just get partially, real. Tell partially. Tell me what's on your plate right now, Chris. Um, starting out with a salad, just I'm um, exercise science, so I like to be healthy. There are two farm fates for scraps left behind on guest trays, composting, or the biodigester, where food becomes uh, unrecognizable. We'll take plate waste from student meals and uh, dump it in here and it recycles into a nutrient-rich water for our irrigation systems. It acts like a human stomach. Well, let's take a look at those guts, Bobby. Come on, yeah, open it's it not, up. It's not very aesthetically Whoa. pleasing, but there you go. Wow. Science is amazing. Waste not, want not. This farm table farm effort seems pretty perfect until you meet the one drawback of the entire enterprise. Indecision. I saw them making the pizza dough today, so I think I'm going to have some pizza for lunch. And they also had this really good sandwich at the delis. Named Innovator of the Year by the National Restaurant Association, ahead of contenders like Walt Disney Parks and the U.S. Air Force, KSU's The Commons is truly one in a meal. Yeah. Now I'm going to do pizza. If there's any place on the Georgia map where it's perfectly safe you to know? drink the proverbial yeah. Kool-Aid, I'd say it's The Commons. It's delicious. And we'll continue our search for the world's best plate.